What is up everyone? Alex here. Another champion skin tier list, this time on Brand Easily. Easily. The hottest champ in the entire game. What a hilarious and yet obvious joke to make. Ironically enough, I did burn the shit out of my hand this week, and working on a brand video is making me hate everything, and especially so on the editing and the writing part. I'm not gonna let it affect my judgment. Well, I'm not gonna let it affect my judgment too much. As is tradition with these videos, we are going to place his base look in C tier, just so we have a baseline moving forward to look at. Brand comes from a very simple place looks wise, but because he's basically a fire elemental, there's a lot of cool stuff we're gonna be seeing from his various skins. First of his two release skins, Apocalyptic Brand, we get to see him don a gas mask, some armor, and the weirdest part though, this is so strange to me, I don't understand why they did this, is his legs are now invisible. So he's just kind of floating around. It, it still looks like he's like walking and moving normally, but he's just missing his legs. I don't really understand Raya's choice on that, but I guess that's why I'm not a multi-billion dollar game company. 3.67 billion. By the way, in case you were wondering, I looked up their net worth for that joke. That's actually insane. That RE skin must have sold really well. The skin works. It's cheap. It's available. It only costs 750 RP. And if you like his new look, it's solid. Me personally, it reminds me a lot of the Pyro from Team Fortress 2. So it reminds me of simpler times. But he doesn't get any new spell effects or new animations or anything. But I do like the look of it. So I think it's going to go into C tier as well for the time being. Second of his release skins, Vandal Brand, also known as Biker Brand, feels like a direct reference to Ghost Rider, and it's hard to disagree with it. Honestly, they probably switched the naming from Biker to Vandal to kind of avoid any direct parallels. This is actually something Riot got better about post-2012, I'd say, with less blatant references to various intellectual properties. Enough nerd talk, though. Brand, but in a cool leather jacket with some punk rock spiky shoulder pads. It's a good looking skin. It only costs 520 RP, which makes it such an easy pickup for any aspiring brand main. The problem comes from it being a legacy skin, which means it's not readily available. You're going to have to grab it from it coming into the store randomly or your own personal store or random crafting, which could be very frustrating for anyone trying to collect his skins. It also doesn't have anything as far as new effects or new animations, so I think this means it's going to have to go in C tier as well. Funnily enough, we're going to stick to some comic book inspired skins here with Cryocore, although we went from a Marvel hero, yeah, Ghost Rider is a hero, uh, sometimes he's an anti-hero, to a DC villain, Mr. Freeze, who actually has decent motivation and because he's a Batman villain is incredibly easy to sympathize with. So this is where we started seeing the designers say the most important thing when it comes to Brand. Hey, what if we made Brand's flames different colors? And the rest was history because this is basically just Brand in some cool high-tech looking armor and his red flames are now blue. This to me is the very definition of what I would refer to as an old school skin. This came out back in 2011, which feels ancient. This was during a time period I was playing League every single day, and League was really hitting its stride. And this was one of those skins that when it came out, people were like, oh, that's easily his best one for sure. And it was like a lot of people's favorite skin in the game for a little bit. And while I can see back then it being good, nostalgia can only carry you so far. And compared to what it's gotten ever since then, I'm going to have to put this one in B tier. Okay, so remember what I just said about nostalgia only being able to carry someone so far? Well, toss that idea out the window, because Zombie Brand is a 12-year-old skin, a legendary, so it costs more, is kind of old for a legendary skin before Riot kind of got its shit together for legendary skins, although there are some really, really old ones that are really, really not that good. But this skin's great. I actually remember when this skin came out way back in the day, and people thought it was the best skin that Riot had ever created. I really do think it's just incredible. Everything about it is different than normal brand. Now, I typically don't have a ton of insight onto a uh, Oh, a skin feels because there's one second. Let me look this up. There is 1,681 skins in this game as of me making this video, of course. This may come as a surprise to you all, but not only do I not own all of them, I also have not played with all of them. So how a skin feels to play with is something I don't really consider when I'm ranking skins, unless it's something completely blatant that I am also a little more familiar with. But this skin, with its various new animations, and the way it moves, and how it feels, with even just the autos, just feels very, very clean, very simple, very easy to use. 
This is some real nitty gritty nerd shit that I could continue to drone on about with something like animation frames and blah, blah, blah. But as far as the skin goes, this one feels really good to use. And that is all I'm going to say on the matter. So obviously, green flames are going to be front and center. You don't see green fire too often as far as like spell effects go. So this one looks really different, really good. Model wise, you got your classic zombie appearance complete with a disheveled office worker attire. This is a legendary skin, so we got new emotes. His joke being an extension of him making fun of the fact that he is, in fact, on fire. Who would have thought? But the clear winner is his dance with him creating some clones and performing the dance from Michael Jackson's Thriller, which is great because Michael Jackson is in at least the top three best MJs of all time. He has a death animation complete with a whole grave tombstone and everything. So if I had to nitpick anything and point out any cons of the skin is that, well, it's a legacy skin, but unlike Vandal Brand, you're always going to be able to get this one around Halloween. And his recall is just kind of whatever for a legendary skin, but that's kind of it. If it wasn't obvious, this is going to be my S tier pick. Maybe it's nostalgia. I don't really care. I think it's great. Enough time spent on that one. Let's move on to the next one. We're moving into the modern era of League of Legends skins with our first 1350 RP cost one with Spirit Fire. So this one reminds me so, so much of the Witch Doctor trolls from World of Warcraft. It isn't even funny. The headpiece that he wears with the skin is obviously a big draw to the model, but the vivid blue colors of the skin are really beautiful. New stuff on his emotes just include his dance, having a little fire elemental guy in his campfire he creates, and his recall has him having three of those elementals dragging him down to hell. Now why exactly would he summon those? I have no idea, but it's cool looking. His spell effects make good use of blues, blacks, and purples for some visuals we haven't seen from Brand yet, and they are visually pretty striking. His Q now being a hand and his pillar of flame thing having a mask in it that matches the overall aesthetic of the skin is, well, really good. Nothing much more to say about it. It looks good, has some good stuff to it, has a really cool vibe, really good aesthetic that works really well with brand. I think this is going to be our first A tier pick. First of all, I absolutely love how unhinged and crazy Brand looks with this skin. That face is absolutely some top tier final boss level stuff. The armor looks rad too. I know chromas can always combat a color scheme if you don't like it. So I typically don't mention the overall color scheme of the skin a lot, but the pink, I, I think it looks really good here. I love that now instead of just shooting fire from his hands, he has these Mega Man style blasters on his arms and they look really cool. We don't really get anything new as far as emotes go, aside from the effects matching the aesthetic of the skin. We do get a new recall, which seems like a fun little Iron Man reference, or when every character in My Hero Academia suddenly learned how to fly with the power of explosions. Turns out when you can shoot any sort of energy from your hands, you can then use it to propel yourself with the power of flight. Who knew? New effects are here and accounted for. The arcade line of skins always has a bunch of really good effects to them. The sound bites and the pixelated graphics are all very cool, especially in contrast to everything going on around them in Summoner's Rift. They always look and sound really high quality. All in all, this is probably my second favorite skin, and it's very close, I think. With how good it is, with everything packed into it, I gotta give it the A tier. This is probably the skin of this list that I have the least to say about. It costs 13 or 50 RP. It's part of this Arclight skin line, which is this fantasy paladin priest-like kind of vibe to it. We replace a lot of his fiery spell effects with light-based ones. Makes sense for a champion like Brand. He gets a new recall. Listen, we have a lot to cover. This is like the quintessential, hey, here's a Brand skin. Go enjoy. Um, yeah. Not a lot to say on this one, and I'm not going to stretch myself thin on this. I just want to put it on B tier. I feel like it needed to do more is all. Act form with an actual, like, really good skin. You know how much I love the edgy anime-inspired skins, and this is one of those. Now, purple is not my favorite color, if I'm being completely honest. But so far, we've seen red, blue, green, yellow, and more blue. So purple was the next logical step. We're starting to get to the point where I kind of had a drop off on League. So I haven't seen a ton of these skins going forward. I remember this one came out around the time I took a pretty large hiatus. So going forward, I'm kind of going in blind. So if we see some pink or even cooler black flames, I'm going to be insanely thrilled. I guess this one kind of has black flames though. And the pillar of flame being a dragon head, really cool. And the indicator on it looks an awful lot like the Mortal Kombat logo, which is also pretty fun, even if it wasn't intentional. This is a 1350 RP cost skin, which is shown in the exceptional quality the skin has to it. 
spell effects we've talked about already, but we also get a cool Draconic Recall as well. All in all, very impressive skin, and it does deserve its spot in A tier. So here now, we get a Mob Boss Phantom of the Opera looking skin, and we're going to talk about both of them, the regular one and the Prestige one here. So just keep in mind, we're going to cover the base first, and then we'll kind of skip by on the Prestige one. Here's the thing about my tier list. I try very hard to be as objective as I possibly can. There are skins that I put in A tier because they deserve them, even though maybe I didn't like them that much. Quite frankly, this one has a very high quality to it, but maybe I just don't like the general appearance of this one. So I am sorry if, as I'm talking about this one, my enthusiasm kind of takes a dip. I don't know what it is exactly. It might be the fact that it looks too robot-y, too armory, too human for brand. I can't put my finger on what it is exactly, but that's okay. We don't need to keep harping on this aesthetically not being my favorite. His flames have this green and white coloring to them now, and his spells all have this fancy design to them when they've marked their target. You can see this as well on his dance. He gets a new recall that sees him drinking what I'm just gonna assume is a Molotov cocktail. Listen, the skin is good, don't get me wrong, and just because I don't like it that much doesn't mean I'm about to hate on it for no reason. It's gonna get an A-tier treatment. Alright, take the above entry with Debonair. Take anywhere where I said green for the spell effects, swap it out for gold spell effects, make it much more of a bitch to actually get the skin, and we have the Debonair Prestige skin. I'll leave some footage up for a second to look and, you know, do our oohs and ahs, get them out of the way, and then I'm going to unceremoniously toss this thing in a B tier. Being hard to get is not fun for video game cosmetics. It's actually just pretty annoying, unless... You can get it whenever you'd like, you just have to work really hard for it. Now that's fun. Like I said, B tier, it's hard to get. I didn't really think about this one too hard. Now this is a really cool skin. Well, the face freaks me out a little bit on this one. But I really like the cell shading kind of look that they have going on with the model, especially on his hair, fire, whatever you want to call it on his head. I'm gonna go with hair. The skin looks very comic booky compared to the rest of Summoner's Rift, and I am here for it. I think they were running out of ways to make fire interesting, or they were just kind of running out of ideas in general, because even though there are still some greenish fiery effects going on, they usually stem from what looks like a burst of paint. Coolest example we get to see, unsurprisingly, being with his Pillar of Flame. I really, really like how his new recall looks too, with him tagging the floor. I guess, it's not a wall, but it uses these big splotches of paint, ending with him chucking a little paint elemental buddy right at it violently killing him in the process, and that means it's really dark that he has to kill one of these guys every time he ports back to base, but we're gonna move past it, because if I start thinking about it, I'm gonna cry. We don't get any new emotes here, but his dance does have a nice little fountain effect on it instead of the regular campfire effect. All in all, this is a really good skin, definitely getting an A tier. I feel like this skin is almost an evolution of what they were going for with the Debonair one. It's got a really slick design, really cool suit, I like the fact that they covered his face with a cool helmet because it lets us focus in on the really sick, really vibrant colors he has going on with his flame hair and his multicolored pauldrons. The recall is also really cool. I don't really exactly understand what he's doing, though. He's either creating a black hole or powering up. I don't know, but my brain likes all the pretty colors involved. No new emotes here, but all the spell effects look incredible with this rainbow hue to them. It just looks really rad. I honestly think these are by far the prettiest spell effects for brand, and I don't think it's really that close. Maybe arcade brand can compete with it, but I would still take these over that one. I think this is also going to be a solid A tier choice. Alright, so looking at everything we have ranked so far, I'm going to put them in order. We're going to start with C tier. I do think his base look could go at the bottom. I like Vandal Brand a little bit more apocalyptic. If that makes sense. B tier next. I think Cryocore is the best out of them. Debonair Prestige is better than Arclight. Arclight, I just don't like very much. It's biased, sure, but as somebody who's not religious at all and plays rogues and assassins and bards and stuff in like D&D, &D, I just I can't get with the holy look. Debonair Prestige, it's hard to get, so it deserves to get knocked for it. Cryocore, it's just, it came from a different era in League of Legends. It's just older. It doesn't do as much. Uh, a tier is where most of brand skins are, and deservedly so. Um, I do think Battle Boss should go to the top. It's just that good. I really enjoy it. 
Uh, Empyrean? I don't know if I'm saying that exactly correctly. I was scared to put the word in my script. But here it is, Empyrean. Uh, I do think it's the next pass, and it's really close. The fire effects look incredible on this one. After that, I think Eternal Dragon. Yeah, I think this one can go next. I like Street Demon a lot. I like Spirit Fire a lot. Debonair, I might be sleeping on it a little bit. This might be a little bit more of my bias, but I honestly think all five of these look much better. Down there. And then Zombie Brand is at our top because I just I love it. I think it's really good. Um, I'm a big fan of Halloween, zombies, Walking Dead, all that stuff. It all speaks to me. Green Fire is sick. Uh, it has a lot packed into it. It is a legendary skin, so I don't know how much of a hot take that is, but <laughs> hot take. Oh no. I tried so very hard not to use any of those puns. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, if you're new here, subscribe. Stick around. You get one of these videos every week. Maybe next week it'll be your main. Who knows? Um, but until then, I will see you all in the next one.